Are you wondering what the at cell means in Smartsheet? Well, if so, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be walking you through exactly what it is, why you want to use it, how you implement it, and then I'll give you an example of it in action as well in a formula. So essentially, when you create formulas or functions in Smartsheet, it is possible to include values from other cells or columns on the sheet. And you can do this with cell references. So you can do that via an individual cell, a range of cells, or an entire column. So the at cell argument essentially performs a calculation on each row at the same time that the primary function, so a sum if formula, for example, is evaluating the criteria in the range. So one of the main benefits is that it makes formulas much more efficient and it helps you optimize them and it makes the overall performance of your sheet much better. And when you set this up, you'll find that it prevents you from having to manually reference cells in formulas each time. So if you've got a big sheet uh, with a lot of data and a lot of formulas that you need to set up, by using at cell, you can save yourself a lot of time. It's almost an automation in formula, in formulas in Smartsheet. So what formulas would you kind of use it in? Well, the main ones that you're going to probably want to use it are sum if or sum ifs, count if or count ifs. Essentially, any formula that has that kind of uh, mathematical uh, side to it. So where do you add it in the formula? Well, you essentially add the at cell argument in the criteria section of the formula. So I'm going to show you now an example of what that looks like using some test data that I've set up on the right hand side. And this should make it a lot more clear if you're still a little bit confused as to what it does. So in our example, we've got the data below. Um, and so we've got a couple of different tasks. We've got the cost for each task and then the date that each task is kind of scheduled for. So in, the, in this example, we want to sum the cost of all the tasks where the due date occurred in 2022. And I'm actually just gonna change this one second. We want one date that's not in, actually I'll put that as 2021 and we'll put this as 2022. We want one date not in the range, just to show you as an example. So here is the formula in action. So we're doing a sum if, sum if, so here we reference, um, we're referencing the, uh, the dates. So if in this reference, the year 2022, so if it finds it anywhere in the cell 2022, um, then calculate or sum, sum this value in this column here. If we do that, we get 500. So the result of the formula, sorry, I changed something, so that's why that's off. The result of this formula is $500. So that's the sum of the cost for all tasks whose due date occurred in 2022. So at the start of this video, we had 2022 in here and that's where we got the 600. So if I put this as 21, you'll see that goes down to 500. If this goes to 23, you'll see it goes to 300. It's summing this column here only if it can find 2022 in the test data uh, date column. So that is the at cell um, function in Smartsheet or, or aspect of a function, I should say. It's very, very useful. I would recommend learning how to use it. Um, if I go back into the formula here, uh, this is where it's kind of, you can see it in action here. So it's in the criterion section um, in this summer, sum if in particular. Um, so yeah, that's just, you know, that's how to use it. That's how I'd recommend using it. Perhaps, you know, do a few different tests yourself. Oh, that's a mistake. Um, and, uh, there we go. That's back to normal. Test it out. See what you think and, you know, start leveraging it. It will save you a lot of time and I would recommend it. Um, so with that said, I hope this video was useful. Please do hit the like button if it was. Drop some comments down below if you have any questions on the at cell function or aspect of a, of a function. Um, and I'll get back to you. And do consider subscribing to my channel. I've got over 45, I believe, videos on Smartsheet training on my channel. So if you're looking for, for more kind of smart sheet information, then, then check it out and you can learn from the videos that I've already created and published. So all in all, I hope you have an excellent day.